this is Santi from Just Pain. We wanted to introduce you to Global Body Art. It's a new line of paint uh, in the US. Global has been manufacturing uh, face paints for the last 20 years. Um, their original paint uh, was like a cream base. Now they are manufacturing this um, cake-like paint. Uh, this particular line uh, is uh, actually made in China with an Aust uh, Australian formula. So they have their own very specific formula. They've been working with the factory for a couple of years to come up with a paint that is vibrant but easy to wash off and really nice to use with brush or sponge. Um, we're really excited. There's a very, very unique uh, feel to the paint. Uh, you have to try it, I guess, to, to be able to tell the difference. They do need a little more water than um, probably most of the regular paints that you try. Uh, maybe as much water as uh, Paradise uh, will need. Um, but they're really, really nice, very vibrant colors, very unique colors. It's really exciting actually to see some very interesting and, and, and different colors. They have no perfume at all, so um, you know some colors you'll feel more the, the, the scent of the ingredients than others, but no perfume, so that helps reduce the you know any kind of allergy that anybody could develop. And they're easy to wash, at least for us on our skin. Um, they use a lot of um, they're called let me see. Uh, ferric oxides, I think it's called iron oxides. Iron oxides. Iron oxides are uh, like micas. Um, they're pigments that occur naturally, and they're a lot easier to wash off than the synthetic pigments. So I think you're gonna really, really like this line of paint. Uh, we are really excited to be distributing this paint in the U.S. And soon they're gonna come up with more colors, and they're gonna have rainbow cakes in the small and large size. So we're gonna, you're gonna see a lot more about Global, and they also have this wonderful glitter gel pens that uh, you're gonna see in action. We have reviewed uh, for you, and they're really nice people too in the company. So we're really excited that we're dealing with a uh, very, very nice people in Australia. Uh, I forgot. So uh, Global is also made all their regular pearl and metallic colors are made with FDA compliant pigments for cosmetic use, and they have gone through a bunch of tests in Australia and in the U.S. Uh, and I'll uh, tell you, uh, they conform to the ASTM D4236, which is uh, related to labeling of um, uh, products that are used in the in the arts industry. Um, They've been, they pass a USP61 microbial limit test, so they've been tested for contents of, of uh, like bacteria growing, etc. Uh, they have passed a test for the California Proposition 65, which is what tests for any kind of uh, cancer-causing uh, ingredients. Uh, so they pass that, and they pass a CE-EN71 Part 3, 9, 1994, which I think is a European test for safety in cosmetics. So they've been ultra tested in Australia for Australia regulations, in Europe for European regulations, and in the U.S. for U.S. regulations. So do they have parabens? Safe, in safe, uh, very safe product. No, it does not have parabens either. So that's another thing that you know for people that are concerned about it. Uh, no parabens here, no perfume here. So super awesome. We love it. This is Anna Walensky from Just Paint. I am going to show you a new line of paints to the US. It's called Global Body Art. And I'm just going to give you quick swatches, a quick review of the colors so you can see what they're like in action. Um, first, we're going to start with what everyone's probably mostly interested in is black and white. Global Body Art uses a mica for their black so that it's very easy to wash off. It's called, it's an oxide, so it's kind of the same pigments that you see on micas. It's a natural occurring pigment uh, versus the synthetic pigments. It's really easy to wash off, like a wash off around your eyes, your hairline, all that stuff, which makes me happy. Also, it washes out of your brush really nicely so that you can just quickly go rinse your brush out and then move on to another color, like their white. So this is their white. It's very bright. You can work it up oh. into a good paste there we go. um, and get solid coverage. Global does need a little bit more of water than the other, you know, paints that are more waxy that you've tried before. Uh, so and it's not for every color, but yeah, like, this is the red. 
and uh, mostly when they're new, like new new, they have like a little layer that you need to kind of break through with your brush. And then once you broke through that layer, it's kind of really nice. That's a that's a red. This is the red. It is a very Super. strong red. Um, it's got a pink base, but it's not pinky, even though. So it has like a very. So that means good that when color. you mix it with white, you get pink. You don't get orange. It doesn't have an orange base. It's a and. It's made with uh, FDA Red 40, which is um, uh, a pigment that you can use around the eye with no problem. There's no restriction on the use of that pigment around the eye. This is their orange. It's one of the darkest oranges I've seen, um, unless you got something like fire red, you know, those kind of reds that are orangey. But once it looks bright and when it dries, it gets very, very deep. Um, so this is their orange. Yeah, now move your arm because I'm trying to keep focus on it. Okay. All right. This is their Wait. light flesh. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's a kind of a peachy flesh tone color, and it looks cool, super cool mixed in with other colors. I like um, double loading with this; adds some variety. So if you get a little orange in it or a little yellow, um, it looks really awesome. It's kind of like a salmony peachy, yeah, color. Yeah, I know. It's very uh, awesome, and it's good for cheek art critters if you're gonna try to. Anna, use. and I was gonna load the little like it's like a pastel yellow. It's, it's actually yeah. a pretty unique color too. It's um, yellow light. Yellow light, um, and it's uh, Global has two kinds of yellow. We'll see the other one. This one is more like a I don't know. It's, it's just a pastel, pastel, but it's bright. Like it's got a lot of. Um, pigment to it. It kind of has that little bit of glowing sensation even though it's not neon. And then, then this is, is their yellow which is super bright. It's not neon but it may make you think that it is. So if you go stand under a black light you're not gonna glow. But it's got But man power. you glow on the regular light with this. Yep, that's awesome. It looks great mixed in with their other colors like their green deep. Um, green deep is a really, really unique color on the on the on the green shades available. It's just I don't know what it, maybe a little blue in it. Maybe yeah, it's what it's it makes like it a super dark. So it makes it super super deep. teal kind of. Yeah, but it's not teal really. It's like it's, a pine tree. Maybe yeah, like, like a pine like tree. Like a blue spruce kind of green. Who knows? But it's great and it looks so good mixed with the yellows. We're gonna move a little bit over here. We're gonna show you their light green. But, um, the current batch may not be this color. Uh, it's not. The current batch changed to a more a, a green like, uh, like more a, a lemony green. Yeah, more like a lime green. Uh, but this is the one that we have opened right now. Um, and then here we're moving on to the purples. Yeah. They're dark. They're purple. Um, you want to wash your arm first uh, before going to the okay. purples? Um, okay. Yes. I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. One second. All right. So we didn't wash the arm. We're just going to keep on going. All right. So here is their purple. It's not a pinky purple. It is like a really dark, bold purple. Um, I haven't found a purple this dark yet in face paint land. So that's pretty cool. Uh, where's the lilac? Why are you using brown now? I don't know. Where did brown come from? <laughs> I don't know. You picked it from the wrong... Oh, okay, mm. we're going to do lilac, which is a brighter purple. Lighter, maybe with like a bit of a pinky yeah. base to it's it. It's not really... I mean, when you compare it to other brands, what they call lilac, and it's not really comparable. It's There's more like a light purple rather than a... Well, a lot of brands, lilac is a light purple. Uh, one, I think... Uh, brand has lilac but it's a dark purple and this is kind of like a medium purple <laughs> lilac because yeah. someone told me lilacs come in all different shades of purple <laughs> did you know that no well now you do so that's like a nice medium purple it's not gonna what are you using now Loading? i'm bringing it in this is my favorite this is magenta um, not neon regular magenta yeehaw and it is pungent thick opaque gorgeous it's hard to capture how amazingly glowing like it is. Uh, and one of the awesome things about it is that it's easier to wash off. Most magentas can leave you stained, but this one um, is a lot easier to wash off. It doesn't leave you with that magenta. That's their pink. It's, it's a very 
pale like pink. It's like a, a little bit of salmon-y in yeah. it, maybe. Not a, it's not a very punchy pink, but it really, you can just use that magenta and it's like awesome. If you and you can it mix there. it with a pink uh, yeah. and you get a, a nice color. That's rose brown and it's really, it's a really nice deep shade of brown. It, yeah, if you look at it transparenter, you see like some really warm chestnutty brown shade. It's like a little bit of red, maybe. Auburn, yeah. kind of auburny. I don't know what auburn is. I don't know, it's got a little reddishness. In but it. It, it, yeah, it's a brown with a little bit of red. It makes it very unique. Oh, you gotta show this color to the camera. Let me see. I don't know if you can see that it has like a little metallic sheen to it, though it's not metallic. Um, it's called. Um, blue? Dark blue. Dark blue. Um, and when you load it up, it starts looking wait, dark blue. When you load it up, yeah, there you can see the dark blueness of it instead of the purpley reflection. But it's kind of like it changes color as the day goes <laughs> by. Yeah, it's one of those, it's a mood paint because it can look purpley under the light and it can look dark blue under mm -hmm. the light. It can look shiny and it can look matte. And Anna is going to have to start making the stripes either come closer to this end okay. or twist her arm in a way that it's not humanly possible. All right, I'm going to start walking the stripes over. And that is the... This is the Ultra Blue. Ultra Blue. It's Ultra Blue. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a medium blue. It's a... Uh, yeah. Right, I'm trying it's to walk cool. my stripe. Kind of like a royal blue. Uh, uh, mixed with a pastel lighter. blue. Yeah, it's like a little bit lighter. This is their teal, um, but it's kind of like a light blue, but you know, it's just got a little bit of a green into it, but it would really, oh, oh, everything's exploding over here. Global is working on adding new shades. So as the year goes by, we're gonna find new shades. I know that in February, they're uh, launching a gray. Um, and they're also going to be launching a line of uh, like rainbow cakes. Uh, let me see if we can zoom in in that and keep it focused. There we go. But that's all the regular colors. Okay, that's the regular colors. And now Anna is going to go and wash, going to wash her arm. I don't want to. I look so pretty. Uh, let me. Can you put your arm? There? <laughs> I that. can do it the other sideways, but I have to break it if I go the other way. There we go. Now we have all the colors there for you guys to see. And now she's going to go and wash her arm and come back in a sec. Hey, this is Anna again from Just Paint. I'm going to show you the swatches of the pearl and metallic colors from Global Body Art. This uh, The pearl and metallic colors are basically both shimmery colors. Metallics are, uh, I would say, more solid, opaque. Uh, and they really try to... Uh, have a metal look to them. I don't know. I don't feel like and a big difference though. Like they well, both... you'll see. Uh, okay. Oops. I can't... Hello, this was... Did you see that? Yeah. This is pearl silver. It's very similar now they to changed... like a metallic white. Okay, they changed the name to pearl white now just so it's not confusing. Uh... Uh, and it's really hard to capture with a camera. But... Do you need me to change my angle? Uh, no, it's fine. Well... Okay. Then I'm going to use metallic gold. Okay. I love this gold because it's like a mix. It's like not a dark brownish gold or a super yellow gold. It's like a combo. It's like a very golden gold, just the way I dream gold should be. So I haven't seen a gold this color, and I really like it. The next one oh. is... Oh, wait a second. I can't zoom in. There we go. Pearl yellow. Mm -hmm. So you can see there it's quite a bit lighter and yellowier, but not super yellow. It still looks almost like a very light gold. Um, oops, I got too much water in it. I don't know what they call that gold. It's like a yellow gold, I guess is what it's called. So that's the pearl yellow. Um, and if you want to mix those two together, you can make even more goldiness. So now she's going to do... I'm going to do a pearl <gasps> lime green. Okay. Uh, it's like a very, uh, kind of like a minty pale green with some shimmer in it. So it's pretty and it's really nice mixed with other pearl colors like the pearl blue. 
All right, I'm gonna put the silver next to the pearl white. This is metallic silver. It's a really nice dark, dark, dark silver. Yep. So you can see it. And if you mix it with the pearl white, you can lighten it, um, play around with it to get different shades. Mm -hmm. But it's a beautiful metallic. And so, all the shades of, of pearl colors that they have right now are very like on the light side and they're going to be adding more like a pink for example they don't have right now metallic pink uh, a nice punchy pink so uh, like I said before their line is expanding this the beautiful pearl is it called pearl blue pearl sky blue what's let's it called? Let's see it's called pearl blue. Pearl blue it's, it's super pretty. Yeah it's like a medium pearl blue it's not super dark it's not super light it's like this gorgeous medium blue oh love it and then there's their pearl purple see I'm 99% sure that it is pearl purple and it is <laughs> not violet it's purple all right um, this is like a softer pearl purple it's not like a real dark dark purple either it's a medium purple so once you work it up this is the metallics are the ones you kind of have to break through the layer of some and get it really worked up great and then you're creamy and delicious Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I let's. Did all of those. Yeah, you did all. Let's pause for a second. So because of the way uh, I I was sitting in it, the colors look a lot more transparent. So I wanted to move the camera and show you show you the way they actually look to the naked eye, uh, if My possible. My eye at all. is naked. Yeah. So now you can see the white. I was almost invisible from where I was standing, and that yellow too, and the lime. So. They are, they are really, really pretty colors. Um, I think you'll love them. And we'll show you now how uh, black and white go on top of it so you can see um, how you can do line work. Let me just pause for a second so we get ready. So we're going to show you how black goes on top of the pearl and the metallic colors. Um, as you can see, it just goes out nicely. I don't see no bleeding or... I'm thinking silver is usually the hardest one in gold. Mm-hmm. Um, but it depends and now let's how well do white. you let's brush. Do white. Okay, and here comes white. Oh, I think I've come up with a new eye design. I like this. Stripes with wiggly worms on top. Woo, wiggly, wiggly worms. And it didn't pick up much of the color. A little bit of the blue. But... Overall, I think it's uh, it great. So you can do you can do line work on top of these pearl and metallic colors. This is the first time we try it, so um, you're seeing it with us. <laughs> Ta-da! Yay! Okay, and last thing, we're going to show you the neons. Just a second. Hey, this is Anna from Just Paint. Now we are going to be showing you the new Global Body Art neon colors. So we're going to do some quick swatches so you can get an idea of how they look. Starting off with their neon green. Um, these do glow under black light. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, and they look very bright under regular light. That is the neon green. Watch very now. bright. There are some n neons that might be more transparent, but in this line of paint, these neons are super bold and they're just regular light. Yeah, and they kind of work. I don't know. They just have a a different. Feel, feel than most neon. Yeah, they feel more like the regular colors instead of the more waxy feeling that a lot of uh, neons from other brands oh, have. That's the neon yellow. Um, like with any neon, these are um, the FDA hasn't tested the pigments to be used on skin, uh, so they come with a warning. You know that for uh, in the U.S. market, they can only be marketed as. Uh, Paints to be used on fabric or uh, on prosthetics, etc. Uh, they've been tested by private laboratories for their safety on skin and they pass all those tests. But because of US regulations, we have to have a warnings. Um, show us that orange. Yep, so it's your own um, personal choice if you um, want to use neons or not. They're great for black light events. Yeah, um, special effects. Yeah. Uh, this. 
yeah, they're, they're really, really bright. Uh, I don't know how the white's going to show. because Oh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. We actually, I don't think we have to try it. Wow. Yep. Yeah, it looks like clear melt. Very, very transparent, but that's common with all neon whites. Uh, so we'll show you how they look in their black light, so, so you can see the difference. Give us one second. Yeah. All right. So this is the way they look under black light. Um, from right to left, that's neon green, neon yellow, neon orange, or no, neon, neon pink. pink, neon pink, mm -hmm. neon blue, neon orange, neon white. And like with every, really every black light reactive paint, uh, pink and orange, they kind of look like just different shades of orange and green and yellow too. The more you mix them in a design and you add other colors, the more different they look. If you stop moving your arm, I can focus. I don't know what's over here now. Okay. But these are just some sponged on uh, swatches with mixed colors blending mm -hmm. together so you can see how they look when they're sponged. Alrighty. Uh, so that's it for Neon Globals. Yay! Yay! Alright, so this is her arm after Yay. she washed it off and as you can see no stains were left on her skin each skin we know is different so some colors may stain you yeah uh, greens usually leave a faint stain but that green deep didn't which was really great yeah. so it washed off really nicely all right so what we're gonna do now it's show you how colors blend um we're just gonna show you two colors um this uh the yellow which is super bright, and then she's gonna use, they're all regular colors, and then regular magenta. All right, so I'm just gonna put them on there. And work it. Oh, what a nice little orange it makes in the middle. Yeah, it does. So that's so you can see, you can blend these colors like any other regular paint. Uh, Alrighty, and then and then what we're gonna do is show you because we know you want to know how black and white you know how white goes on top of black black goes on top of white and that kind of thing uh, where should I paint up here no down here Is it here yeah all right I'm gonna do a little swatch of white can you do a cheer up too to show oh yeah I can do teardrops up the wazoo Line if you one. use a large round you can really keep going and going if you uh, load it up nice so it like we've covered our whole arm with teardrops um with just swirls. one load of a uh, number eight brush yeah so it's a big brush so if you get a bigger brush you can just go nuts all right and then here comes the black i'm gonna work it up to a nice liquidy you kind of want to work it so it gets to like a watery uh paste that's not too thick mm -hmm. and then you just drop and drag, drop, and drag, drop, and drag. Oh, I picked up some white from next door. Drop, and drag, drop, and drag. Um, so then can you show us how black goes on top of white with little dots? And then the same thing, white on top of the black. Okay, the white's still wet. Oh, so okay. we might get a little transfer, but if you make sure you don't... We can pause. We can pause and let it dry. All right, now that my white is dry, I'm going to do a little black stripe. So the previous to... one that she did, the white wasn't dry, so it did bleed. Mm -hmm. but if you and that will happen with to... any brand. If you wait for it to dry, it sh should go over it. With... Oh, that was too thin. Yeah, exceedingly well, delicate. She's, here. she's doing very delicate. Okay, can you show us the white on top of the black? The white on top of the black, yep. I'm gonna rinse out my brush and lovely it lovingly it rinses out so nice. And now I'm going to load up some white. So just keep in mind that she just rinsed a, a brush that had black paint and she's going to use white and you'll see how it just it clean up so nicely. Yep, it's strong. I don't know where you are. Okay, I, you want me oh, to go there in we the go. middle? There we go. Yeah. The white, if you get it into a really good paste, it just pops on top, so it's really nice. And it pops on top of red and darker colors. Um, so you really can work this up into an awesome paste to do some layering. But you just want to make sure that the base colors are All dry right. for the best effect. Alrighty, so now we're going to move into metallic colors and then we'll show you how black or white go on top of metallic colors. Yay! Yay! Pass! 
Hey, this is Anna from Just Paint, showing off the Global Effects Face and Body Art Gel Glitter Magical Pens. Uh, they come in like a thousand colors. I don't know, how many colors are we getting? A thousand? Oh, uh, I don't know. We're getting like 15 colors, I think, but there's a lot more of them. Can you show us the tip? Uh, let me see. I'll try to zoom in while you're working there. There we go. You can see the tip. It's a good idea to always shake them well, well, before using them. If they happen to clog, which doesn't happen very, doesn't happen very often, but it can, uh, just a firm shake against, you know, kind of like you do, you know, like you want Pound to it. settle, yeah, whatever. Uh, or you it can will, put a pin. I'll do there. it. Otherwise, a pin, yeah. Uh, but if you don't have a pin, you can just do that, you know. Oh, this is one of their greens. It's beautiful. You just want to keep the flow of the, your movement to match the squeeze that you're giving. So mm -hmm. if you want a thin line, you want to uh, move real fast and do a and very squeeze gentle lightly. squeeze. And if you want a thick line, then you can go fat and thick. The, the plastic of the bottle is firm yet easy to squeeze. Yeah. Um, so that's Very that's really nice. Um, they're big enough so they fit in your hand nicely. You can rest them in your hand, you know, firmly so you actually get a good grip of them. Um, they're huge, as you can see, compared to to other brands, and um, and they have that plastic tip. It's super thin and it's gentle. It doesn't scratch you or anything. So they're really fun to play with. They have a lot of colors, and we'll have them online for you to see them. So Yay. that's our. Uh, review and, and they're you know like an aloe vera gel based uh, so they, they take a while to dry like any other uh, glitter gel they have no alcohol in it alrighty yippee skippy thanks for watching bye bye